Think they can change us? Yo, pick the goal! Give up now! Tom Wise? Huh? Oh, Hawk. Haven't seen you since we did that job together for Athenra. Been a while. Heard you're going on some expedition into the Deep Roads, and right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? We can't all make a living in the Undercity. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? A Athenril's scarce these days, and the Coterie have their own mixers. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I'm just here to talk. We're interested in getting into the deep roads. Rumor has it you were a warden. Do you know a way? Did the warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pounce a lot. He hated the deep roads. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot, in the Deep Roads. He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes, I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn, 
and a whole host of refugees to blend in with, and some reasons of my own. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out, if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Help my expedition reach the Deep Roads. And I'll do whatever you need. You don't ask for my terms. What if I were asking for the Knight Commander's head on a spike? Is that what you ask? You decide. I have a Warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Fekler. He was sent here from Ferelden, when Kirkwall Circle required new talent. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the Circle into a prison. Mages are locked in their cells, refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. I told him I would come. Are these accusations true? Ask any mage in Kirkwall. Over a dozen were made tranquil just this year. The more people you ask, the worse the rumors become. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andraste said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. Forcing mages into servitude is not the way to prevent the rise of another Imperium. That's not usually the response I get. Perhaps we will work together better than I expected. How do you plan to break him out of the gallows? I'm hoping it won't come to that. I sent Carl a message to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Maker willing, he'll be there, alone. But if there are Templars with him, I swear I'll free him from them, whatever the cost. You've convinced me. What's your plan? I welcome your aid. I have already sent word for Carl to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Join us there, and we'll ensure that no matter who is with him, we all walk away free. I think this is the cellar door. Mel Crest. 
Mother described it, but this is the first time I've seen it. Wouldn't it feel like something to live in a house with this above the door? Stay still and try not to make any loud noise. You are sure to slay his throat. See his body. Messing with us is suicidal. Everything we want to know about our family is in... This is it! Grandfather's will! Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. We'll take it to her right now. So I'm just saying... Blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just put something towards food. We found the will. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Here, read it. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter Leandra and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend to be controlled by you. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is! You didn't even come home for the funeral! The twins were a week old! We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's entire inheritance. I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I could never turn against my own sister like that.
You're a better person than Gamlin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. We're not running away again. We're coming home. What do you mean, running away again? Did you think I don't know? How often we had to move because the Templars were coming. I know how much you all sacrificed to protect me. But we're at the end of the line now. There's nowhere left to run. And there's something almost comforting in that. Why did mother and father work so hard to keep you from the circle? Would it have been so bad? I guess at first, I was just a little girl. They didn't want to lose me. And once I had learned anything, what would the Templars do to an active apostate, not just a mage blood child? It changed their lives, your life, Carver's, all because of who I am. Sometimes I wonder if it would have been so bad to be with my own kind, to serve the Chantry as Andraste demands. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. Carver's death. It's killing her slowly every day. But maybe if we can reclaim some of what she lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get us back a normal life. What do you think Carver would have made of all this? He would have hated this place. All the sneering nobles. He'd have gotten himself arrested the first day. And he would have wanted in on your Deep Roads expedition. Anything to make a name for himself. Sometimes I still can't believe he's gone. Can you imagine if we'd grown up here? Been nobility? Had grandparents who bought us all liege and silk dresses with lace petticoats? Father was a good man. But Mother gave up so much for him. Of course, if she hadn't worked up the nerve to elope, she probably wouldn't have been able to resist the Templars, either. If we'd been born here, you'd be nothing more to me than a name the Circle kept in my file. Let's see if Mother gets us that mansion. I don't want to call anywhere Uncle Gamlin is home. <laughs> Has he moved that bowl of porridge since we've been here? It's been a year. I can't even remember what it was like to have a place of our own. I might even take the circle if they'll give me a clean bed and my own sheets. <laughs> <laughs>